What's going on guys, Overlord Gaming here and I'm back with just a update about my computer really. I have got a new graphics card for it. Um, it's a, it's not a big upgrade but it's a slight upgrade from one, one that I currently have. It's a GTX 950 by MSI. So it, it is the um, Sapphire edition from MSI. So it's it's, it's pretty good. It comes overclocked. Uh, 2 gigs GDDR5. Obviously DirectX 12. Um, and I'm going to be basically running you through me fitting it and doing some demos on it. So yeah, hope you enjoy. Alright guys, so this is the current graphics card in here. It's a 750 Ti I do believe. Um, so basically we're going to be removing that one and replacing it for the 950. So yeah, let's just get straight into it. So I'm going to start, well I've, I've, I've already unplugged the power cable, so I'm just going to start by unscrewing it, and then just popping it out like that. So that was my current graphics card, it was a HIS 750Ti, I'm pretty sure it is. Um, as you can see, the heatsink was quite small on it. It's, it wasn't exactly the best at gaming because of the temperatures that it reached. So, yeah. Um, with the seven, with the nine fifty, the heatsink's much much bigger. It also has a vent on the uh, shield as well, which is pretty good. It has a display port, a HDMI, and a DVI-D port, and. Um, the old graphics card had that as well, but um, obviously there's more graphical RAM in this. So let's just install it, hopefully. <laughs> so that will just go in like that. Okay, so that's in. So what we need to do now is we need to replace that screw and put it back in there. Okay, so it's in. Um, just put the power lead in. My power supply is capable to run it. It's up there. It's a 700 watt. X power one, so it's it's pretty decent. Uh, while we're in here, I also have an Intel i7 860 running at 3.6 gigahertz. I have three one terabyte hard drives, obviously for video storage. I have eight gigs of ECC memory. It's an Asus P7P55D-LE motherboard. It's a pretty good motherboard. It has memo K. It has a memo K button. So if I ever need to install new RAM, um, it can tell me whether it's compatible or not. <coughs> I have three express gates, and then another PCIe port there if I ever want to do SLI because this one is uh, capable for SLI. So I don't know. I might buy another 950, and then hopefully run them in SLI. So yeah. Well, that's pretty much it. Uh, let's just plug in the HDMI lead. Power it up and see if it switches on. Hey, it's always a good start. So we'll just wait for it to boot up. Okay, so it's booting up, that's always good. Yep, that worked. And it looks like the graphics drives are already installed. Are they? Oh, yeah, my graphics drives are already installed. That's pretty good. So let's just do it for like half a burner. See if it's running okay. And then just let my computer boot up for a second. Probably shouldn't have done it so fast. Alright, I'll come back to you when MSI is open. 
Alright then guys, MSI Afterburner is now open. As you can see, it's pretty hot, but I have um, overclocked it. If I bring it back down to its stop clocks, like that. Um, I'll just get the fan going to speed this process up. Um, it's fairly loud, but it's at a decent level. I, c I could game with it. It's, it's not bad at all, really. So yeah, let's just see how much we can get it to cool down. Okay guys, I left the fan running for about 5 minutes-ish. And I've got it down to 38 degrees, that looks like it's all that it's going to idle at. But, I mean, to be quite fair, that's not bad, seeing as this is a graphics card that is made to be stressed. So let's just overclock it. Um, um, we'll do some demos on games. Oh yeah, also, um, MSI sent me a new mouse as well, along with the uh, graphics card, which I thought was quite nice, so yeah. Uh, it has customizable DPI, obviously you can change the colour of the lights on it, it's very responsive, it's actually pretty good. So yeah, um, I'll do some demos on some games for you guys, and hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video.